一人で悩んでた夢の探し方。Okay, break time's over. Now back to work. I need to put in the puni ball and then add the uni after boiling it for a little while. Yeah, this is going well. Now I just have to mix it a little and... Huh? This is weird. What's with this color? Oh, it stinks! Oh no, wait! This is Kirchen Bell, a small town brimming with greenery and the sounds of church bells. A certain girl lives alone in this town. Her name is Sophie. Here, she runs an atelier using the alchemy she learned from her late grandmother. Although, she still has quite a lot of room for improvement. Mm, messed up again. <sighs> At this rate, I'll never be as good as Grandma was. <sighs> if only there was a way to suddenly get really good at alchemy. Then I could make amazing medicine and stuff. And everyone in town would rely on me? <laughs> I wouldn't have any problems if that was the case. <sighs> Guess I should clean up. Oh, yes! It's open! Hello, Sophie. What's that smell? <laughs> I messed up again. More importantly, why are you here, Monica? Do you need something? Yes. There's something I'd like to ask of you. Huh. It's unusual for you to have a request. What do you need? I just met with Meister Horst. He was asking for some Berg medicine, but... I've gone to every shop and I can't find it anywhere. So I thought you might know something. You know, you're kind of an alchemist, right? That's why I'm asking. I'm not kind of one. But Berg medicine, huh? I've never tried making that. I saw Grandma making it before, so I should be able to make it too. It's a request I decided to accept. You don't have to force yourself if it'll be difficult. No, it's fine. I can't just ignore someone in need. Leave it all to me. Oh, but I'm still not confident about it, so I should look for Grandma's book.
I can't find it. Wait, what's this book? What's wrong? It's just that there's a book here that I don't recognize. It has a very elegant binding. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hmm. I see, I see. Ah, this is a reference book for alchemy. But only the beginning is. The rest of it is all blank pages. Maybe Grandma was writing it. Hmm, I see. Yeah! Anyway, Monica, after looking at this, I suddenly remembered. Huh? Remembered what? How to make the bird medicine. The thing you were asking about. Really? You think you can make it? Of course. I have enough material so I can mix it up real quick now. Yes, please do so. Just be careful not to make another mistake, okay? I'll be fine. Just leave it to me. it <laughs> good luck Sophie leave it to me okay what should I make Okay, what should I make? What material should I use? What material should I use? Medicine. Thank you, Sophie. You really helped me out. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll take this over to Meister Horse now. Hey, Monica. Do you mind if I go along? Huh? I don't mind. But why? I'm the one who made this medicine. If it turned out to be no good, it would mean trouble. I think it's fine, but... Well, it couldn't hurt. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, just a minute. I should write the recipe into the reference book while it's still fresh in my mind. Sorry for the wait, Monica. Anyway, let's go see Meister Horst.
Meister Horst! Ah, you two. Do you need anything? Meister Horst, I brought the Berg medicine you requested. Oh, thank you very much for bringing it so quickly, Monica. Well, actually, Sophie made it. I couldn't find any Berg medicine myself. Sophie, you made this? Yes. Um, is there something wrong with it? Not at all. In fact, it's quite rare to see Berg medicine as fine as this. It seems your skills with alchemy are improving quite a bit, Sophie. <laughs> you two have been very helpful. Here's your payment. Wow, thank you so much, Meister Horse. Um, I didn't really do anything. I can't accept this. No, no. I'm the one who made such a sudden request. Think of it as a payment for your time. I insist. Very well. I'll accept it gratefully. Thank you too, Sophie. If you are ever troubled by anything, just ask. I'll do whatever I can to help. Anyway, I'll get going now. Have a good day, Meister Horst. Sophie? Yes, have a good day. <sighs> I worked hard today. Huh? What? That book is floating? I... I didn't think books could do that! You just got home, and you're already so loud. Oh, sorry! Wait, what? Did the book just... talk? Yes, I talked. What?! The book... the book is talking?! Please just calm down. People are able to talk. It's not strange for a book to talk, too. Huh? Um... I don't think that's how it works. Um... So you're that reference book from earlier, right? The one I wrote in? Yes, I'm Plakta. Oh, you have a name! I'm Sophie. Sophie? I shall remember that. Um, Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Uh, okay. Um, Plakta? What exactly are you? A book. I can see that, but you're a book. Yet you're flying and talking. It's really strange. It's true that I'm different from an ordinary book. That's because I... I... That's strange. I can't remember. What exactly am I? Um, that's what I want to know. Wait, Plakta, do you not have any memories? It seems so. I can remember that I'm related to alchemy, though. Alchemy? Then I might be able to help! I'm actually an alchemist! Yes, I know. A novice alchemist who doesn't even know how to produce Berg medicine. Oh, so you saw that. But I can make it now! Even a child could make that if they studied a little bit. Uh, but, but, Meister Horse praised me for it, saying it was really well made. From my point of view, it didn't appear particularly excellent in any way. Yeah, I'm terrible at alchemy. I make lots of mistakes, and I can't make lots of things. I can't help the people around town like my grandma was able to. Do you wish to become better? Huh? I'm asking you if you wish to become better at alchemy. Of course I do. I would if I could. There is a device called the Cauldron of Knowledge. It allows anyone to use the power of alchemy. With that, you would be able to make free use of alchemy, as you so desire. There's an amazing device like that? I- The Cauldron of Knowledge is... Oh, this is strange. Oh no, don't tell me. Plakta, you forgot where the cauldron is? It seems so. What? 
Are you serious? That's terrible! You got my hopes up only to crush them. I am very sorry, but I can't remember at all. As compensation, I can teach you alchemy myself. I may have lost my memories, but I'm confident that my knowledge of alchemy exceeds yours. Hmm, you do seem pretty smart. And you probably do know more about alchemy than me. If you'll teach me, I'll gladly accept. Very well. We'll be working together starting now, Sophie. Yeah! I look forward to it, Plakta. Okay, let's not waste any time. Can you teach me some stuff, Pakta? You're quite enthusiastic. Yeah, I don't want to be a novice forever. <laughs> Very well. Try synthesizing something first. Synthesis? I can do that. Let's see, materials, materials... Oh. What's wrong? I used all my materials when I made that bird medicine. I have nothing left. Then it seems you need to gather some. Is there a place nearby where you can do that? Yeah, I know of a place, but... Uni appear there, so I'm scared to go alone. Oh, right! I can have Monica come with me. Monica? Is that the girl who was with you yesterday? Yeah, she's actually really strong. I see. Then you should be safe. Very well, please be careful. Huh? You're not coming too? As you can see, even if I was to go, I wouldn't be able to fight. Seeing how I'm a book and all. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll be off then. Yes, try to come back quickly. Time is finite after all. If you take too long, I won't have as much time to teach you alchemy. <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'll try to hurry back.
Monica, will you come gathering with me? Hmm? Why are you asking all of a sudden? I don't have any materials for synthesis. I want to go gather some, but I'm scared to go alone. Ah, I see. Of course I'll go. Besides, you helped me with Meister Horse request. All right! Thanks, Monica! No problem. By the way, Sophie, have you outfitted yourself properly? Huh? Yeah, I have my handkerchief and snacks. That's not what I meant. You need medicine and other supplies, right? We're going to a place where monsters appear. You need to prepare properly. Oh, you're right. I'll be sure to bring some stuff. Why, if it isn't Sophie and Monica, are you going somewhere? Oh, Mrs. Marguerite! Yes, I'm going to help Sophie gather materials. Right, Sophie? Wow, these are nice! Your vegetables look so tasty today, too! Yum! <laughs> It seems Sophie is charmed by my vegetables again. Sophie... Huh? Oh, right! Yeah, we're going to go gathering! I see, I see. Make sure to be careful. Yes, thank you for your concern. That makes me wonder where my foolish son wandered off to. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Got it. I'll let him know if I see him. Anyway, we'll be going now. Yes, take care. been outside of town in a long time. Sophie, you need to be more careful. We have no idea when monsters could appear. I know. Wait, is someone over there? That's... Hey, Oscar! Oh, Sophie and Monica. 
What are you doing out here? We're here to gather alchemy materials. What about you? I came to observe the plants. The plants here tell some interesting stories. Oscar, don't tell me you were talking to plants again. That's exactly what I was doing. What's weird about that? To me, it's weirder not to be able to talk to plants. Yeah, you were always like this. I don't really intend to argue after all this time. That sounded vaguely like an insult. Oh, right. Oscar, Mrs. Marguerite was looking for you. <laughs> oh, crap! I totally forgot about my delivery! Mom's gonna scold me! This is your own fault. Just accept it, Oscar. Huh? What was that sound? Sophie, stand back! Oscar, you can fight, right? What? Wait a second! I'm not prepared for this! Here they come! All right, let's take these guys out quick. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think they'd attack all of a sudden like that. Hey, Oscar. Do you want to come with us? It's dangerous to be alone. Monsters could attack again. You're probably right. All right, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want to get hurt after all. In that case, let's get started with the gathering. Oh, you need to help too, Oscar. What? I never said I'd do that. We won't tell Mrs. Marguerite we saw you here. Okay? Uh, fine, I got it. Using people. What should we do, Sophie? Want to look around a little more? Huh? No way! That's enough! I'm exhausted. And if we stick around too long, some dangerous monsters could appear. Hmm. Oscar might be right. Okay then, let's head back. Yeah! Oh, both of you should drop by the Atelier. I'll make tea for you. Oh, really? Then we'll take you up on that offer. Right, Oscar? Yeah. But first, let me catch my breath.
Where are we going next? We're back! Ah, oh, welcome back. That took a long time. Th that book is floating? A and talking? I never thought I'd hear the voices of books in addition to plants. N no Oscar, it isn't just you. I can hear it too, this time. Sophie, it seems your friends are just as loud as you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone would be surprised if they saw you, Plakta. Um, both of you, this is... You wrote something in a reference book and it started talking? Sounds more like a dream. I never thought that book would turn out to be something this amazing. I was shocked at first, too. I mean, a book was flying and talking after all. I don't think it's that shocking. No, it is. So, um... Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Oh, okay then. Plakta? What or who are you? Ah, I asked the same question. But it seems like Plakta doesn't have any memories. Really? Yes, the only things I know are my name and a little knowledge of alchemy. Right. That's why I want to figure out a way to get her memories back. Memories, huh? Maybe they'll come back if you found some sort of clue? A clue? Hmm. Oh, Sophie, I just thought of something. Plakta started talking because you wrote something in the book, right? Yeah, I think that did it. Then maybe her memories will return if you write more recipes into the book? Wow, that makes sense. You're pretty sharp, Monica. What do you think, Plakta? It doesn't sound far-fetched. I think it would be worth trying. Okay. In that case, I'll study lots of alchemy and write lots of recipes into you. I feel like some sort of fate brought us here. If there's anything I can help with, let me know. Yeah, I'll help with whatever I can too. Thank you both. Whoa, it's getting late. I need to get home or Mom will scold me again. I'll be leaving as well. See you later, Sophie and Plakta. Yeah, see you! I need to work hard for Plakta. Yes, I have high hopes, Sophie. All right, time to start synthesizing. Plakta? Teach me whatever you can. Okay, I understand. Okay, what should I make? What material should I use? What material should I use? Is this really okay? Okay then, let's start! good will happen.
Is this really okay? greatly change the results. Alchemy is based on creativity and ingenuity. You should remember that. Creativity. Okay, I understand. By the way, Plakta, I want to try making something else now. <laughs> that also depends on your creativity. Huh? What do you mean? There are various things you experience during your daily life. Things you see, hear, and feel. If you base your creativity off of that, you may come up with new alchemy recipes. Hmm. So you're saying I should do all kinds of things? I suppose that would be putting it very simply. Uh, okay, I get it. I'll just try whatever comes to mind. Yes, you should try that. At the very least, the experience will be good for you. 